What's up guys, Nick Rapazzi here. Welcome to the Paradise C6 YouTube channel. So today we are working on the Bronco. You can actually see that we finally got the hood to kind of work. It's still not finished, but the, the tilt mechanism's working. I got James over there welding in uh, brackets for the court, smaller quarter fenders. But like I showed you guys before, I got, um, these are basically door hinge bolts for like a, like a barn door. And then uh, I built like this bracketry in here to like hold all this stuff. I glued in those two L brackets up there, attached that into here. And then we got this plate that I glued in here. And everything's just like, it, it's not glue, it's panel bond. And uh, what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to go in, finish all these welds. Because a lot of them are just like really strong tack welds. And uh, finish all the welds and then fiberglass everything in. So this is even 10 times sturdy and everything's not going to go anywhere but i'll show you the um the side corners once we finish getting those all mounted up and then basically the front end's done on this we just got to wire in the lights and um just get rid of the uh the fender liners that we have in here because these aren't going to do much in it of anything anymore so probably just going to cut these off and then make mounts to hold them up to here so they're just out of the way and then reinforce this um battery tray so the battery don't fall out of it either so yeah so we'll get these quarter fenders in get everything tightened up and then i'll show you the finished product and we're gonna be able to paint this next week all right guys so i'm gonna show you guys the stuff that we got done and we're gonna jump start this thing because it hasn't been started in a while but uh we got the inner fender liner parts cut out on both sides got these mounting bars in and the front ends up and everything and i showed you guys that already but uh James throwing the jumper cables on and uh, gonna see if this thing will fire up and then possibly test the lights because for the, the lights that I got here, is it sparking? Yep. Yeah, just put it on, it'll be all right. What the fuck? <laughs> well, if it blows up, it blows up. All right, everything seems to be all right with this uh, charge a little bit. I think I gotta go get the keys. But uh, yeah, for the lights, I have uh, just plug and play things for the stock bulbs to to this. So hopefully that works right and. Uh, see what happens but uh let me go get the keys and then we'll see if this thing fires up all right got the keys see if this thing will fire up i still got a half tank of gas ac's on because last time i drove it was hot out let's shut off this got 12 volts so let's see nothing <laughs> yeah this thing hella dead all right, I guess we'll uh, we'll just charge up for a couple minutes and then come back and check. All right, guys, so we figured it out. If you look right there where I got the vice grips, it um, it's a starter solenoid. It was uh, on the stock fender, it's bolted to the fender and the actual housing is what actually grounds it. So we weren't getting a starter uh, connection. So we uh, just temporarily did that. I'll probably just self tap it into that bar that we put there so it has good ground, but let's fire this thing up. It's been like a month and a half. Woo! Got smoke everywhere. It's not that loud for being straight pipe. No. <laughs> it's still got the cats on it, so it's not that bad. Oh, and so this is that starter solenoid I was telling you guys about. That's what needs to be grounded. That's why we weren't getting to start. But uh, we do have loose battery connections, so we'll get that tightened up. And then uh, that's pretty much it for today. I'm glad we got this far. All right, guys, so we got figured out. We just didn't have them pushed in all the way. And then for these uh, like accessory lights that I have on here, they um, I just plugged it into the the drive light and uh, I'm gonna wire it in hardwire eventually when I do all the actual lighting for this I just want to test fit these and make sure everything works but uh yeah they're pretty cool I'm definitely gonna have to get uh HIDs or LED bulbs for this because 
that's not bright whatsoever. But yeah, dude, this shit looks pretty cool. Oh, what's up, guys? So, I uh, put everything away, packed up everything, got everything uh, all ready to start this all over again tomorrow. But I wanted to show you guys the lights when it was a little bit darker out. So I got the dogs out here, they're all running around, and uh, yeah, so let's, uh, hey, come here, come here, Sky, what are you doing, get in the back. Uh, they're not really going to show up too well on camera, but uh, you can see that they're, the LEDs are showing up on there. Alright guys, I hope you guys can see me, so uh, the dogs started chasing some random cat that was in the back so i had to go round them all up and put them in the house so i left the lights on so i just wanted to come out and show you guys see if you can pick them up on camera because it's they are bright as hell so it's not coming up too well but uh yeah you get the gist of it what's going on here all the lights are lighting up there is running lights that have to go in right here that i still have to wire up and we have the three leds that go on the top here so probably i think tomorrow's because tomorrow's going to be decent i'm going to try and finish wiring up all that getting all that situated so this way we can get the hood off and get the um the fiberglass going on that uh, i'm not even sure if you guys can see back here yeah there is a light but uh we're gonna get the rear tail lights in wire those in tomorrow and then that's about it. Everything's uh, good to go. We did get these mounted up in here, so we're going to get the uh, the inner fenders up and out so all the wiring's good. And uh, hopefully have this ready for paint. So I will show you guys me actually doing the wiring, and I, if I have time tomorrow, I might actually do the exhaust and the radio that I have for this, but we'll see how, see how far we get because I still have to mount up a couple more things on this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. Hope you guys are liking the Bronco build as it's coming along. I'm loving it and I can't wait to drive it again. Hopefully next couple days, hopefully tomorrow if I can get everything bolted up and wired correctly. So, But if you enjoyed this upload, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.